Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And as you guys could see here, old Harvey and the horde got hammered with snow. Way too much snow to get too much done outside. So trying to clean up the basement garage, I've been uncovering things, finding parts and so forth. And I found this Z50R. I want to dig it out of here and see what its story is. See if it has compression. See what kind of shape the gas tank's in. See if it's missing anything. I believe I picked this up from a friend of mine. Maybe I didn't get it from a friend of mine. Anyhow, for some reason, $85 sticks in my head. And I'm thinking I might have got a good deal back then. Okay, here she is in all of her glory. And you know, you kind of go from one side to the next and see what you got. So, the seat is mostly here, which is a good thing. Right, brake, all that's attached. It's not welded, the Kickstarter. Sounds like I got compression. The exhaust system is complete. Gas tank is here. Gas tank is Krispy Kreme. It is just horrible. Um, by the way, and it smells worse than it looks, if that's possible. There you go. 1979 vintage. And this is the R version. The R version is kind of more of a dirt bike looking thing. It also does not have a headlight. Unfortunately, this has a broken fender. The pieces aren't in there, so I didn't do it. And it looks like somebody did a pretty good job using the, uh, <laughs> the gas tank as a stop for the handlebars. So no damage here. Everything's here. Brakes, the whole shoot matches here. So I'm very happy about that. Tires actually look decent. And I think they'll hold air. Um, front brake needs to be loosened up, but uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's take a look at the other side. So here's the other side. I don't know, is it the pretty side? We do have, uh, that's broken out, right? The front fender, once again, tires are there. This all looks like the right stuff, right? Chokes there air cleaner now I guess these things had a battery because that looks like it wants to have a battery here I mean I assume this kind of clamped in the covers there though chain doesn't look bad once again tires look pretty good seat doesn't look horrible somebody snapped this put piece right off Right, that locks the handlebars. Shifter, not welded. And, yeah, seems to shift. I don't know, what do you guys think? When I bought this thing, I was already, I think I was already working night shift. Yeah, it was about 20 years ago. I think I was already working night shift. So I was working like a million hours. And I managed to, you know, I saw it. The deal was right. I bought it. And I, you know, just brought it home and put it away. I don't even think I checked the compression or anything else. I just said, oh, complete bike. Less than $100, you buy it. Um, we saw the one at the Rhinebeck Car Show. I don't know, 78, 79, whatever it was, but he was he was trying to get what 850 for it, 950, whatever it was. So um, if I could get my hot little hands on a front fender in red, I think the suspension is still there. Yep, and the back. Yep. So um, this thing even has the kickstand. Obviously, somebody did <laughs> the shifter in good. And that might be when they broke the front fender. And 
that might be when they stoved in a bunch of the gas tank right you can see how it's stoved in there and there yeah I wonder if all that happened at once yeah it still has the serial number nice nice basement gold <laughs> I gotta find more of this as I've been looking around there's been some other stuff I've been looking for um, to put the C CT70 crew together like these things this goes on under the engine the pegs though those pegs look like they go to an all-terrain cycle I got a swing arm there. I'm not sure what that goes to. So I am finding some other stuff that's been buried back here for a while. I mean, just quickly, I'm really not going to talk about them. But you can see there's a pair of AT ATC 70s under here. You know, once again, back then I knew they would be valuable someday. I didn't know when and I didn't know how valuable. But I just knew that I should get them while I could get them because at some point I wouldn't be able to any longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Basement Gold. I know um, there's a guy, I call him Mad. <laughs> That's initialed from his uh, name. Um, he's always telling me, enough talk and get with the wrenches. Well, I had to get with the snow um, thrower and, uh, and the shovel. So, sorry I didn't get with the wrenches. But I did manage to uh, do some cleanup. You know, there's, there's a lot of this stuff even down here. So it pays to have a hoard. But at some point, you got to kind of do a little inventory to it. And then make decisions what you're going to do with it later. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the videos on the uh, Honda Z50R. And uh, I just wanted to get up here to the upper garage. Not all you guys enjoy the uh, snow videos. We got between 18 inches and 2 foot of snow. So it, it was a crazy lot of work to, uh, to get through this mess. To work my way up here and so forth um yeah it's 37 degrees up here door's been open so it, it must have warmed up above freezing anyway not that i want to go into a whole weather report but it does affect my way um the way that i make videos right like Right now, with 18 inches to 2 foot of snow, these all-terrain vehicles just will not be moving. Luckily, I do have some projects up here to work on. This puppy's about done, but I can work on these two guys. Particularly that bayou, that 05 bayou there needs quite a bit of love and attention. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the basement <laughs> gold videos there's a another couple to be made down there they normally do okay so I I'm gonna keep them up until they no longer do okay then uh, then I'll, I'll shut them on down but over the years I did manage to dig up a lot of cool stuff so I figured I would share it with you anyhow I want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe please remember feet down heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day don't let too much time get by you